The Sunfire company in Dresden has developed something remarkable. They've devised a sophisticated process to create this clear liquid they call blue crude. It's a replacement for crude oil, which can then be turned into synthetic fuel. Niels Aldag of Sunfire sets out the advantages of blue crude-based gasoline or diesel. Not only could it help replace fossil fuels, it could also be carbon neutral. A car powered by our fuel emits as much CO2 and water in its exhaust as goes into manufacturing the fuel. It's a closed system, and that makes it so environmentally friendly. Here's how it works. You take green energy, water, and the greenhouse gas CO2. This all undergoes several reactions to produce blue crude, the mixture that's a replacement for crude oil. Producing blue crude requires lots of electricity, so it needs to come from renewable sources. Oslo-based entrepreneur Rolf Bruknup heard about Sunfire pretty much by chance and was intrigued. Norway has long been a pioneer in promoting green energy. Well, when I saw this, an early morning I read this uh, business paper and I saw this article, I immediately saw the potential for, for, for producing this in high volumes here in Norway. Since uh, I'm a hydropower guy, I, uh, th that was the link to it. There are nearly 1,000 hydropower plants in Norway. Just about all the electricity generated in Norway comes from hydropower. It's also very cheap, which is important if blue crude is to be competitive. Electricity accounts for between 40 and 60 percent of the cost of producing synthetic fuel. Because Norway has plenty of cheap renewable energy, Ralf Bruknup thinks it's the perfect place to upscale blue crude production to industrial dimensions. In addition, we need also access to carbon dioxide, which could also be uh, expensive for us. And there is also a substantial cost related to the investment we are making. When you see the plant, the power plant behind me here, we could produce approximately 8 million liters of air diesel yearly. Rolf Bruknap has found a plentiful source of carbon dioxide, a cement factory at Breivik, southwest of Oslo. It blasts huge amounts of the greenhouse gas into the air. Bruknap wants to capture that harmful carbon dioxide and use it to manufacture a synthetic fuel based on blue crude. This is a big problem for, for Norway and we can use uh, this carbon dioxide into uh, our products uh, and produce approximately 100 million liters of blue crude yearly, which in turn can feed, if we use only that for diesel, could be uh, fuel for approximately 100,000 cars. Albert Albers is head of IPEK, the Institute of Product Engineering in Karlsruhe, Germany. One of his research areas is vehicle drive systems and the future of transportation. He believes that electric vehicles will not entirely replace those powered by combustion engines. He says the kind of diesel made from blue crude looks very promising. For one thing, gas stations wouldn't need to be modified to accommodate it. Cars wouldn't need to be modified either. Standard fuel tanks and engines would do just fine. Developing a sustainable hydrogen-based system will take a long time and a well-thought-out strategy, but I believe it's the only way to go. The future of mobility will be converting hydrogen in various forms into fuel for use in combustion engines. That's the kind of thing Sunfire likes to hear. 
After years of development work, the firm says it's time for Blue Crew to enter the industrial mainstream. Niels Aldag says there has, however, been some resistance. The problem is the mental hurdle. Some people seem to believe that if the kind of fuel we're working on is approved, that would be bad for electromobility and battery development. We don't agree. We believe that both technologies will be needed and can coexist. But as long as we assume that one technology will be harmful to the other, it will be very hard for the underappreciated technology to thrive. Sunfire hopes that once the visionaries in Norway begin industrial-scale production, critics will be won over by the benefits of blue crude. That would be the breakthrough Sunfire is hoping for.